you guys are about to hit three years next month, right? April, yeah. yeah I can't okay. believe it, man. <laughs> Darrell Josh Johnson, Gospel Herald, CitySportsReport.com, here with the, the legendary Walt Clyde Frazier. Walt, how are you doing today? Very good, man. Uh, glad to be at the game tonight. Nick Nets, always a lot of excitement. So you're, this is a big time for your restaurant. Uh, you guys had a huge Super Bowl party last weekend. And then next weekend, for the people who won't be here at Barclays Center or at Madison Square Garden taking part in the All-Star festivities, they'll be at your restaurant um, watching the All-Star game. Tell us about the restaurant in general and tell us about some of the uh, special events you have going on. Well, it's my first uh, venture into the restaurant business. It's a 10,000 square foot venue uh, located at 10th Avenue and 37, between 37 and 38th Street because it's a whole block. Uh, we have a restaurant of 200 seats. We have a bar area. We also have a lounge. You, you've been on that mini basketball, got a mini basketball hoop in there. 40 state-of-the-art TVs throughout the restaurants, more of a sort of an upscale uh, sports bar, but the food is very good. Steak shop, chicken seafood, guacamole, the chicken wings, the burgers. My favorite is the grilled salmon. So I'm just elated that the support that I get from all type of people coming in, young and old, black and white, have been supporting me now for almost three years that the place has been open. So uh, it's been a lot of fun. I think there are so many unique things about the restaurant. One, it couldn't be uh, uh, Clyde Frazier's Wine and Dine without uh, showing your signature style. Uh, I'm sure that was an easy part of it, but but what did it? What did? What was the thought process upon the design and the furniture and stuff like that? Well, early on, we didn't know. We just had the space, but then we had an architectural firm, and when I used to meet with them, I'd have on one of my jazzy suits and my shoes. So they go, man, we got to come by your house. So they came by my house, they filmed my jackets, my ties, my belts, my shirts, and that became the evolution of the interior, the ambiance of Clyde with my pictures. You know, the ceiling is a replica of some of my suits, and uh, the walls are chinchilla, <laughs> like my meat coats. And so it's, it's a fun, different venue. No other venue is like it in New York, that's for sure. Absolutely, I would agree. And I, and, and I love the basketball court that you mentioned. What was the thought process behind putting, putting you know, a, a basketball court in there? Well, my partner, I mentioned him, a guy named Michael Weinstein. I said, maybe we should have a hoop in there. But I never thought it would be so elaborate <laughs> like the one we have, which is about 15 feet, guys. You, you can shoot the free throws, and it's about 12 feet wide in there. So get a nice little workout in, talk some trash playing against your your friends and 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 you know the first time I walked in the restaurant the first thing that, I, that surprised me was how large it, it is it, it is huge and two the other thing is you're always there <laughs> I walked in and, 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 and we had spoke about the restaurant and you said you were there a lot and and I just happened to walk in and you were sitting there I know a lot of people are surprised because a lot of sports guys put their name on the bar and they never show up you know I can never cheat the fans especially the kids that are hoping to see Clyde when they come there. But it's something you can't do for money. you got to like people, and that's what I do. I like uh, mingling with the people now, signing autographs, taking pictures, and usually if the Knicks are in town, yeah, I'm usually there. <laughs> Final question, All-Star Weekend in New York City, back after 17 years. What's it like for you as, as someone who played in that game to, to now be in it uh, or, or be here and sing it from, from your perspective? Well, the memories abound. Uh, ironically, my rookie year, the uh, All-Star game was at the Old Garden on 50th and 8th Avenue, 1967. Then they had another one and now this one. Uh, unfortunately, I wasn't able to play in the All-Star game uh, when it was in New York. But my memories are seven times All-Star. And, you know, what happens when you first start, all your friends are going, man, when are you going to be an all-star? So then I became an all-star. Then they want to know, man, when are you going to be the MVP, you know? So finally in 1975, in Phoenix, Arizona, I, I won the MVP in the all-star game. So that was, that was a big thrill. All right. Always a, a pleasure to speak with you. Uh, uh, thank you for your time. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs>